How to draw caricatures is one of the biggest questions that all my students ask me. And, you know, like for me, it's really about good drawing. It's about really looking into the soul of the sitter and being able to extract those qualities that have the essence or the spirit of that person. So if you have gigantic eyes, if you have a gigantic nose, um, why is that nose gigantic? Is it because of years and years and years and years of the cartilage growing? Because as you know, cartilage just continues to grow and grow until the day you die. Or is it because they were a bare knuckle fighter and their nose got bigger and bigger because the tissue was swollen or it got disproportioned from having all those crazy underground fights? There's a rhyme and reason for everything. So uh, I think caricature is in a lot of ways the most sophisticated part of drawing. Obviously, some of the greatest draftsmen of all time have been great caricature artists. The likes of Daumier, the likes of Dure, the likes of Leonardo da Vinci. Have you seen his caricature drawings? Holy cow, those are cool. They are! They're really cool. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick little caricature, but before I do that, I wanted to show you a little caricature painting. It's a painting, not necessarily a caricature, but yes, why not? You can call it that. And that is the legendary KRS-1, 1, 1, 1, the South Bronx, the South South Bronx, you know that song? So uh, I obviously distorted him, and you know, you distort the funny qualities of people, you distort the interesting qualities of people. So I'm just gonna do like a couple of minute quick profile caricature. Usually you see caricature in three quarter. Uh, you see it uh, straight on, not really in profile, but I'm gonna do a quick little one of me. Why not? I'm so distorted anyway. Let's just do it. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna be really straightforward about this nose, because my nose is pretty straightforward. My mouth, on the other hand, not so much. So my top lip is kind of large, so I'm kind of distorting that and obviously grouping it together like I talk about in my mouth lecture. Uh, just a little separation there, separation here. But, you know, really distorting the, the mouth, the fullness of the lips. Let's see the lights coming from above. Uh, when I draw, by the way, I draw with both hands. Oftentimes, it's just easier for me. Just, uh, I got to give myself a little mustachio. And by the way, this is going to be fast because I want you guys to see a little goatier. And my chin, which is also getting back. So sometimes I see something because sometimes when I'm drawing in an area, I'll be drawing in this area and I'll see something else. And I'm always drawing all the areas. So like even though right now I'm drawing the chin, I'm actually drawing that eye in. I know that's really kind of bizarre, but like, I'm going, okay, well, if the chin's gonna look like that, the eye's gonna look like that. So sometimes I'll just jump right to here, or like I'll jump with a measurement, you know, like my nose, okay, so it lines up, you know, where the, where the corner of that eye is. So just little things like that, uh, I'll always do it. Just to keep my eye active, because you're not always drawing one thing, your, your eye is moving around, that's how the brain's working. The eye is moving around. That's okay. That's an okay. That's a, that's okay to do. Mm, gotta cut that mouth in like that. So you can see my distortion of my of my mouth, uh, my mustachio, my goatee, and uh, and as obviously as it goes down here, this is all going to be cooler. So this is going to be darker everything here, right? So here, it'll be a little warmer. I'm just blocking in my eye. And I'm gonna make my eye a little cartoony and big, right? So my 
my eyelashes actually go down like that. <laughs> as crazy as that is, they go down. Most eyelash, that's actually a recessive quality about myself. Most eyelashes go up. Mine go down. That's very rare. Um, so just know that. It's a recessive thing. So it's kind of like having uh, blue eyes. Blue eyes are uh, not as common as brown eyes. Green eyes are the most uncommon. Of course, Elizabeth Taylor was supposed to have violet eyes. I don't know if I believe that, but I always look for them and I go, I guess they were violet, but someone keep telling me that they were. I just don't know if that's true. So this is a, a quick caricature of me, and obviously we can make it even more uh, caricature-y. My hair being crazy and manic and wild. My cheekbone coming in. My beauty mark uh, making it huge. Skin fold. Neck. Obviously, that my hairline. This is off out of my head, so my ear. Nothing too funny about my ears. that my hair is, but okay. my eyebrow arches a little bit. My forehead's not really that funny. So as you can see, it's a very fast, quick caricature. And it's out of my head. And what I went for is a little bit the distortion of the mouth, distortion on the eye. And as you, you know, as I continue, I could really make it crazier, like show the other eye over here, kind of lashes going down. Like that. Mustache. Beauty mark. And we'll get the temperature later as I continue with the drawing to show that that nose maybe feels a little red, a little alcoholic-y, which is ironic because I definitely don't drink ever, barely, maybe a glass of organic lemonade. But uh, still, you know, getting the... The hair, the follicles, breaking it into plane. So this plane is darker under here. The hair gets soft, 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 soft. And you can see See? I know it might not look like me, but Quick caricature profile of Zubua. <laughs> I touched myself. <laughs> Tickles. Enjoy. <laughs>